Hey everyone, just wanted to do a quick uh, video mentioning converting a Cub Cadet SLTX 1054 to a GTX 1054. You say, well, what, what's the deal? Well, this is a, an older mower that I had been able to obtain after uh, the passing of a, a near relative. And believe me, it's had its issues over the time. You know, the uh, if you're familiar with the uh, the um, Kohler Courage V-Twin engine coil issue, um, there's a conversion kit to return it to, I guess, a previous generation uh, coil pack compared to the newer style because the older style is more reliable and requires, it's not just a, a simple um, uh, swap. You actually have to do a little bit of clipping with the wiring. Very simple, but um, the symptoms were it was only running on one cylinder. And uh, so I had, that was one of the issues that I had had over time. And, you know, just the, you know, maybe the wheel bushings. Um, I still have an ongoing intermittent starting issue. And I think in this process of what I'm doing now, I'm going to really go through all the interlock switches to make sure that, uh, you know, either the seat switch or the mower deck switch or a brake or whatever, something that's, you know, intermittent where it just nothing. But anyways... I uh, installed a sleeve hitch on this machine uh, a couple years back and I did a little bit of light grading with some uh, loose gravel and things of that nature. It actually works good. The SLTX, it's got a, a hydro gear transmission. It's not a ground engaging uh, rated transmission, but in my opinion and from what I've read, um, it's, it's a higher level transmission than say a, a tough torque k46 and so based on that uh you know with the sleeve hitch work i always felt hey you know there's there's the higher model the gtx if i could ever find an old abandoned gtx or whatever you know that that still had a good rear transaxle i'd love to swap it because it has the hydro gear g730 and it has the 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 SLTX has the three quarter inch axle. The GTX has a one inch axle. So, and another thing, I've already swapped the wheels over the tires. You can see these are 23 inch tires. The ones that were on it were uh, 22 inch tires. Now this one is deflated. It needs a little bit of air, but man, you can sure see the size difference just in the tire diameter. This is the one I picked up uh, last Saturday. It has a hood around here somewhere. But um, it doesn't have an engine, didn't need the engine, but that's what I got it for right there. We, uh, my wife and I drove down to a place uh, about an hour and 20 minutes away, and for $100, uh, got this, um, this mower, and it has some other parts, you know, I, had, I got the ignition um, switch, and it's got, this, this unit here actually has the electric steering, so I may even fool around with that, but primarily this is what I'm focused on and um right now i'm kind of going through just uh cleaning it off a little bit you know uh taking the old toothbrush cleaning off all the nooks and crannies doing that and then blowing it out and then with this one you actually have a um an actual uh filter transmission oil filter that can be replaced and I'll take that off and drain it, and then there's an oil fill plug right here on this spot right here where my finger is. Uh, and once we add the oil back in, it'll drip out that angle. And um, now it's not just what I noticed. Um, it wasn't just simply a matter of replacing the axle. Even the linkage was different. This um, brace is different than the SLTX. The linkages are different. And even that, that uh, cross bar there is different. But the mounting point and all that is the same. The, the frame is identical. This is that nine gauge frame that uh, is you know fairly uh, sturdy, especially in the rear section. Um, compared to like a lot of the ones that you see out there now. The regular uh, lawn tractors are, you know, getting to be fewer and fewer actual garden tractors. But 
Um, so the frames are identical. So it's just, and even the holes and the drills and so forth are identical. So it should just be a matter of swapping over the unit and uh, just ensuring like the drive shaft, uh, drive uh, belt is the same length and things of that nature. But I'll get back with you as soon as I get a little bit more of an update. Hey, thanks for watching.